I was asked the question recently in an interview for an art job, how my art, my personal art, intersects with teaching students. This is an art project that I did when I was in seventh grade uh, at Sunnyville Junior High. And um, nothing too spectacular. This was 1986, probably, or so, maybe 85. Um, anyways, um, hands. We were to draw our hands in various positions, and this is a very simple um, hand drawing, a uh, series of hand drawings, not a lot of 3D aspects. Um, but I really liked this art project when I did it way back when I was in junior high, many years ago. And so now I have my high school students doing a similar project, and I love seeing how differently the projects come out. There's a wide range of styles, and it's very interesting to me to watch. I like how in the art classroom, different students come out with completely different ideas. And of course, there's different levels of skill and stuff like that. I'm trying to put these up here without showing the name. But you can see just each person has a completely different style, a completely different way of approaching how thick the line work is. And of course, everybody decides how they want to position their hands. Some people want to outline their hands, and then others prefer to draw um, by observation. This particular assignment, I allow either, um, and you get good results um, and a range, obviously, of of levels, but students that don't think they're good at drawing can do this particular assignment and find a level of success. And I'm like, I'm impressed by the fact that, that one's semi inappropriate. I'm, I'm amused by how, how well some kids do that didn't think they could do very good on this kind of stuff. And then, of course, the ones that are naturally gifted always surprise me. And impress me. All right, let me go through these without revealing the names. Maintaining people's privacy. I'm just going to put a few more up here. These are all very... You get the idea, but I mean, literally every single one of these has its own style, 100% different from the next one. Every single one is different. Isn't it incredible how same assignment, we all have hands, the hands look similar, but the way students choose to draw, the way they decide to make some lines thicker, or even like, look at, look at this particular, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a simplistic style, but it looks cool. Like the shadow line being real thick and not necessarily accurate because it's all the way around, but it looks cool. It's, it's like every one of these has its own style. Isn't that cool? all of these on this video because literally every student in every period all throughout the day ends up doing something completely different and then you know a lot of a lot of other types of assignments where I'll be guiding them it'll still be unique and everybody will have their own style but I feel like this hand assignment brings out people's individual style in a unique way I'll just say it. And I like it. So here's another one. 
And for me, it all this assignment all goes back to seventh grade. Mr. Bruce, Sunnyvale Middle School. Awesome teacher. He was from, um, he had a Scottish name, Bruce, and my, my grandma Betty was a Betty Bruce. And so they were very excited that they had uh, common ancestry and they kind of talked about their Scottish ancestors and Robert the Bruce, uh, etc. cetera. Um, but he was a really nice man. And I was just thinking, man, I'd like to go find out where he is and see how he's doing. And he probably would be amused to know that I am an art teacher now. This is interesting to me. I don't know if it is to you. If it's not, you probably stopped watching minutes ago. But I'm just going to keep, keep on showing these. Look at this one. It's another one where it's like there's a, a distinct style in the shadow and there's a line that, that makes it look less real, but it looks cool. It looks like a graphic, more, more like a graphic design. Than, probably don't have the camera zoomed out perfectly, but part of the reason is that way, or one of the benefits of that is you can't see all the names of these students, so they're, they can remain anonymous, and I can still show off what they did. Okay, let's see. I'm not going to stop. I got two more. Two more rounds. I like this one. Here's somebody that did it from observation. I think, um, and used some reference models for the hands, maybe, but they they did more. Oh, here's here's a really interesting one. Cover the name because um, I want to lift it up a little higher. But look at how look at the style. There's really interesting hatching lines on this, like dark and then lighter, and, and it's a it's a it's just a cool. Like this particular student impressed me with this. Um, surprised me with the uniqueness of style that came out. Another one similar. Okay, and then here's a different approach. Cover the name on that one. I'm not showing the names. Students or parents, they don't want their name showing up. All right, there's a good one. Look at that one. Okay, one more stack. One more stack. Thick, thick, dark shadow. So those those are the hands. Oh, I got more. <laughs> I 
I got one. One more little stack. I think some of these I already put up. That one looks familiar. Maybe I already put these up. Anyway, there's, there's the hands. <laughs>